Benoit. Welcome back everyone. Well, hardly any rain on the radar today, which for the summertime is kind of a rarity. Instead, drier air filtering in and not feeling too bad by tomorrow morning, but you got to set those alarms early if you want to enjoy it. But still the day as a whole really not looking too bad either. So more on that in just a bit. But first, satellite radar composite here. Now the frontal boundary that brought all the showers and storms earlier this week now stalled off in the Gulf waters. And for us, drier air filtering into the region courtesy of a nice light northeasterly wind and eventually will help to continue to usher in some slightly less humid air as well. Now the dew point or the measure of moisture in the atmosphere. We're still in the lower to middle 70s today, so that's still humid, but really even as of the five o'clock hour, starting to come down a little bit, sitting at 70 degrees, and eventually they'll be falling into the 60s later this evening and through the overnight period. So setting up for slightly more comfortable conditions by tomorrow morning, and winds out of the northeast at 10 miles per hour and 87 degrees is your current temperature. So here's the latest graph model, and again, generally fair to mostly clear sky through the overnight period temperatures starting out middle to upper 70s tomorrow morning and then mostly sunny skies out there on our Thursday with the exception of a few high level cirrus clouds but that would be about it temperatures topping out near 90 degrees but more importantly that feels like temperature or heat index right around 90 degrees as well if you remember last week we were well into the triple digits so we're going to be a far cry from that here really over the next couple of days so make sure to enjoy that for sure and winds uh, again generally light out of the northeast tomorrow afternoon at around three to six miles per hour generally clear conditions tomorrow night friday morning as we start out and once again not too terribly bad upper 60s to lower 70s and then partly cloudy skies throughout the day on Friday with afternoon highs settling into the lower 90s. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, good amount of moisture sitting here in the northern Gulf of Mexico. Always got to watch those stalled frontal boundaries this time of year because on occasion they could spawn a tropical system. That's not anticipated at this point and most of this moisture with time looks eventually head uh, more so toward Florida and the uh, eastern U.S. and then elsewhere out in the tropics. A few other little systems, nothing really major at uh, this point one here just to the east of the islands has about a 20% chance to develop in the next five days. This small area that we've been tracking near the Cape Verde Islands over the last several days now has a 0% chance to develop and a pretty impressive tropical wave coming off the African coast uh, has a 40% chance to develop in the next five days, but they're still way out there. Plenty of time to watch and nothing that looks to present to the Gulf uh, present an issue to the Gulf of Mexico at this point. Here's the good stuff again. Middle 60s tomorrow morning for northern parishes of Acadiana upper 60s along the I-10 corridor and then much of the same will favor upper 60s to lower 70s there across the coastal parishes. And after that somewhat uh, pleasant start tomorrow morning, at least for August standards, we'll climb into the upper 80s to lower 90s tomorrow afternoon. Upper 60s is more possible for northern parishes Friday morning, lower 70s for the rest of the area before we eventually top out in the lower 90s there come Friday afternoon. So comfortable night ahead, turning less humid, fair to mostly clear skies in place. Again, we'll go 68 to 69 degrees, at least here in Lafayette for that overnight low. Mostly sunny skies tomorrow. Hot, yes, but a little bit less humid. Dew points in the 60s, so that'll feel pretty nice, especially for the time of year. Temperatures topping out near 90 degrees. Next 10 days, again, looking pretty good as we round out the week. Fair to partly cloudy skies in place, then eventually by the weekend and heading into next week, we return to a more typical summertime pattern with highs in the lower 90s and rain chances sitting at around 30 to 40% for those typical afternoon scattered showers and storms. Jim?